I'm joined now by former president of Nigerian Optometric Association, Ogechi Uwokedi. Uh, thank you for joining us on the news this hour. Uh, she was just telling me uh, just before while the report was playing that uh, you have to check your eyes more frequently when you are 40 and above. <laughs> I'm not yet 40, so let me drop this for now. <laughs> You're getting before there. you start thinking that I'm old. But then this year's commemoration has to do with love your eyes at work, right? Yes. Uh, how can the workplaces begin to take advantage of this year's observance to prioritize eye health? Um, thank you so much for having me today. Like our theme you, you um, said was love your eyes at work. And basically this theme is um, has, it's a global um, theme and it's a, a global call to action for, for employers, business people to take, to prioritize eye care of their workers, of your staff at work. Because in the workplace, there are so many things that can go wrong. Mm. You know that all of us are at work. Work is at home. Work is at school. Work is at uh, the marketplace. Work is in the bank and everywhere. So we, a lot of things can go, um, go wrong in this place. We know that we are in a world that is filled up with technology right now. We're talking about um, computer screens and their hazards and the blue, blue light rays that are coming out from these uh, screens that we work with, even your television and your, your telephone screens, these are potential things that can actually cause the eye to be either stressed out or have some form of the blue rays can actually cause some form of harm on the eye. So we want to look at um, uh, um, um, employers taking care of their staff. Maybe we're talking about technology, we are talking about protection mm. because we are talking about um, accidents that may occur at workplace. You know, people that work in various settings like may be prone to having various type of accidents. You can have um, a chemical splash into the eye. So we are thinking about using goggles and protective eyewear. We are thinking about uh, people that are playing sports. You can have a blow in your eye mm. when you are um, playing sports. These are all different scenarios and probably bringing the so, eye screen into work is I'm not applicable to like bringing the eye screening and also telling the employers to mm -hmm. and the people that work to take personal responsibility about their own eyes because your 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 uh, boss can do all what they can do but if they provide the safety eyewear and you do not wear them then mm -hmm. you have not been responsible because some people actually do not want to wear these safety eyewears that are provided in the, in the offices. So we're uh, um, asking both the, um, the, the people that are employed and the people that are also employing to ensure that they look after and promote safety eye habits for their staff. Everyone now seems to use the blue light um, lenses. How effective are they at yeah. the place of work? They are quite effective because the blue, what the blue light um, lenses do is that they cut off the harmful rays that come from the screen because we, when we have these screens we have the blue blue light we have something called the blue um, rays mm. and these are like artificial rays that come out from the, from the screen from the screen and they have been known to age the eyes so the eyes some of the eyes are getting older faster we are beginning to see cataracts earlier we are even seeing children that are even having age related problems that are caused by uh, these harmful rays that are coming out from the screen. So, and of, also the, the rays from the light can also cause um, tiredness, mm. eye strain, Indeed. and all that, headaches, which, are, which, are, which of course will not help productivity uh, while you're working. We have to go now, but talk to us um, very quickly about the kind of lifestyle that can avoid preventable blindness, particularly for some of us who are approaching 40. Right. So um, lifestyle, there are so many things that you need to do. First of all, I always say have your eyes yearly examined. That is very, very key. Everybody must be checking even when you're be before you're 40. Mm. I'll also be talking about healthy uh, diets. So you must eat a healthy balanced diet. We're also talking about you having eye breaks, mm. you know, breaks after 20 minutes of um, 
focusing on any near, near reading or doing your computer work, you should be taking an, uh, 20 seconds of a break before you go back. Look at something that is far away from you. Take a water break. Walk around. Say hello to someone so that you exercise yourself. We talk about exercising. We talk about quitting of stop smoking. We talk about... Um, you, you know, don't do those harmful things because there are some people that would use harmful um, substances that may actually damage the eyes. Don't visit the quacks. Visit the optometrist or the, or the ophthalmologist to have your eyes examined. And, and don't of course, self medicate. And that's just don't yeah. self medicate. And for smokers, quit. Quit smoking. Try to quit smoking because that in itself can also harm your eyes. And um, like you said, you are approaching 40, mm -hmm. and most of us are getting there, if not uh, over there. When you're over 40, you may require reading glasses, or you may require you, mo you may be more prone to having eye, di eye diseases, so you must be checking, because mm -hmm. there are some eye diseases, like something like glaucoma, that doesn't tell a story. It just occurs. But today, particularly, is for the worker. So uh, we're also talking about policymakers. Let them also think about putting those policies in place that can promote healthy Absolutely. eye mm. habits while at work. Insurance, too. We have to go now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dr. Owokedi <laughs> is in our 50s, and uh, perhaps the last time you come in, the next time you come, you will tell us about how to keep us young and not grow gray hair in your 50s. Why, why did you tell them that I was in my 50s? It was supposed to be Friday. <laughs> Former President, Nigerian Optometric Association, Ogechi Wokedi. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much for having me.